Good morning. It is Friday, May 31st. So I'm doing my grocery wrap up for the month of May. This is this week's groceries. I didn't go to Gateway this week. Um, we bought a lot last week and I still have a whole head of broccoli. I still have a whole head of cauliflower. I have a bag of carrots and then I'm starting to pull stuff out of the garden as well. Um, I just pulled a bunch of rhubarb, um, some more chives, uh, bok choy. What else am I grabbing out of there? Oh, we finally got to have an actual meal of asparagus, which was amazing. Been three weirds waiting on that asparagus. So today I went to the gas station, uh, Circle K, and I went to Superstore. Um, I got a good, good point steals at Superstore. And I ended up splitting it up into two orders in order to do that. So I'll just go through what I spent everywhere. So I just picked these up at Circle K. Friday milk is $6.19, which is now it's an even better deal because the grocery store here is now selling it for $7.27. So $6.19 each, so $12.38 at Circle K. I did a flash food order last night because I knew I was going to pick up a grocery order this morning. And I got two of the Dragon Boat Sushi, were $3.75 each. And then the Philadelphia roll, which is my favorite one, was $1.75. So with the service fee on that, I spent $9.78 at Flash Food. So I got the earliest you can do a PC Express pickup is 9 o'clock. And I always get everywhere super early because I guess because I wake up early. So I parked and I just went in to see if I could find any... 50% off deals, I find first thing in the morning is a good time to do that. So I found two of these uh, chicken breast strips. It's not the greatest deal. I was looking for rotisserie chickens, but they didn't have any marked down. But we're doing tacos tonight, so I thought this would be super easy tonight. Um, so these were $5 each and then 50% off, so they were $2.50 each. They had these brie were $8.30 and 50% off, so I got two of those. They had these little Gruyere uh, triangles with $2.99 for, I think there's a tw there's 12 in there. I just thought I might do something different to throw on kids' lunches. We are definitely in lunch box fatigue right now. We're tired of eating all the same stuff. The non were four something, came to $2.79 for 50% off, and there's five in there. So tomorrow night, I think we're going to do pizza. I'm doing my seedling sale tomorrow, so I will probably want to have something super easy tomorrow. So that's what I bought. Oh, and then a pack of seeds. When I was weeding my carrot patch, I ripped out some seedlings. So I have like, I don't know, maybe 50 carrots coming up. So I'm just going to get, I got the pelleted seed. So it's a little more expensive. It was $3.29 to just fill in any gaps I have in my carrot patch. So total I spent in store, oh, and I picked up the two bottles of Pepsi for the weekend too, and they were, I think, $1.49 each. So total in, when I went in store was $26.47. So then last night I had an offer in my email for if you use PC Express, you get 20,000 points if you spent $100. So I tried to make my grocery cart as close to $100 as I could, and I pretty well came right on. <laughs> um, but then I had some other deals in there as well. So these butter were on for $4.99, and then I got 300 points back for each of them. So um, it's more like $4.69, which is as good as you're going to get on butter. But then I had a personal offer for if you spent $25 on butter or margarine, you get 2,500 points. So I was already at $20. There was a limit of four or I would have just bought another butter. So I ended up buying these. These were full price, $8.49, but that put me over the $25 limit. So I got my 2,500 points. We're going to do tacos tonight. So I wanted sour cream. We haven't had it in a while. These were two four seven fifty. This was on a member price. I believe it was four seventy nine, and I've just been missing having a little flavor in my coffee, so treat myself. The Maxwell House were ten ninety nine. Uh, I think it was a member price. Yeah, because it didn't come up on my 
it didn't come up until my receipt went through. So member price $10.99. I hope this is a decent kind of coffee. We usually get the store brand, but it was $10.99 and then you get 3,000 points back. So it's like $3 off for each one. So we get two of those and then 6,000 points back. I have probably 25 jars of salsa downstairs, but I wanted to try this one, the mango lime. I'm thinking doing like a mango salsa or a peach salsa this summer. Um, so I wanted to try theirs and just see if it's something that we might like, having a sweet, sweet salsa. Um, these were on for $3. I think this is the hit of the month. My husband loves cashews, so I thought that would be a nice treat for him. English muffins were $2.79 each, but then I got, I had a personal offer and got 500 points back for them. It is taco night, so I bought two things of wraps, and they were, I think they were $3.39 each. Oh my gosh. They were two for nine fifty. That is a lot for tortillas. Do they not have a tortilla? I know you can do a recipe at home, and I've tried it before, but they just don't come out as nice um, for when I do it. Um, if anyone has a nice like discount wrap idea, I've checked the wholesalers, and it is a little bit cheaper, but not much. And this is something I really like. So anyway, so I got two for nine fifty, and then. Oh, and that's why I bought the peanuts too, or the cashews too. So they also had these on for $2. I bought a whole bunch last week. I still have five bags of them. So now we have 11 bags of tortilla chips, which seems crazy, but they were $2 each, which is a good price. They store really well, great for summer. And I had another offer if you spent $15 on snack food, um, you got 5,000 points back. So I bought the five bags of the tortilla chips no, six bags, six bags of tortilla chips. So that was $12. And then this was $3 and it counts as a snack food. So $15, so then I got 5,000 points back. So my total spend between going in the store and PC Express was $125.65. This was also quite intentional because I had an offer. If you spent $125, you got uh, 12,500 points, I think. So if you are following that, that was a lot of talking. So 12.35 at Circle K, 9.78 at Flash Food. My total for the two shops at Superstore was 125.65. And then I managed to get 47,700 points back. So my total spent was 137.81 and then subtract those $47.70 in points. So my total for this week's spend is $90 and 11 cents. So I'm gonna go back and recap what we spent and give you a month end total. For the first week of May, we spent a total of $80.95. Week two was another low spend week and we spent $75.75. Week three of May was a big week of stocking up. I spent uh, $70.42 at Superstore and then an additional $120.80 at Gateway for a total of $191.22. For the entire month of May, our total spent was $438.05, which brings us to $11.97 under budget. Breaking it down to the different categories, we spent $49.70 on meat, $113.96 on dairy, butter and oil was $27.75, bread cereal $46.09, Produce was $42.84, pantry $65.29, mostly canning stuff, <laughs> beverages was $25.44, treats $45.24, and toiletries $8.41, and then I also did do some convenience meals at sushi today, $8.23, and seeds at $4.53. Thanks so much for watching. Bye now.